once again with episode four of Battle of the Wentworth Villains. And today it is Judy Bryant versus Anne Reynolds. We're going to get right into this shit. How many people did these bitches kill? So Judy, we'll begin with Judy Bryant's treacherous ass. Technically, she killed about six people, including herself, in the Wentworth bombing, but some might disagree with this assessment, and that is absolutely fine, okay? The six people I speak of are Mullet, the prison nurse, a couple of screws, and a random inmate, okay, that was blown to fucking smithereens during the bombing, and of course herself, because she's the one who caused the bombing. I'm not gonna get into this again. Just watch the last video and you'll hear my, my you know, thought processes on this subject. So Judy killed six people and she attempted to kill Ali Novak twice and failed both times. Although she succeeded with putting Ali in a wheelchair for life, fucking bitch. And she didn't kill anyone. So she attempted to kill Vera, but she failed and instead got her neck snapped by a psychopath named Joan Ferguson, okay? So Judy, six people and none. Did they feel remorse for the crimes that they committed? As far as Judy's concerned, the only remorse she felt was the remorse that she didn't actually kill Allie during the stabbing in the showers, okay? She definitely did not feel remorse for the condition in which she left Allie. She was a selfish bitch, and she even tried to kill Allie a second time, okay? But it didn't work. Anyway, Anne is next. So, I mean, she was killed, so we'll never know if she felt remorse for trying to kill Vera. But as far as all the other dumb shit she did, they, those weren't crimes, you know what I'm saying? But they were fucked up acts, nonetheless, for which she felt no remorse for. She didn't give a fuck. She didn't give a fuck. After her daughter died, that's it. She had no feelings, except for anger and rage and sadness. Moving on, how calculated were they? So, Judy was quite calculated indeed, all right? Her job called for it. She was a fucking hacker, so the bitch had to be calculated. As far as Anne goes, Anne was not calculated at all, in my opinion. What she was was reckless and acted off of emotions, okay? She had no control of herself and was just a scattered mess, if you ask me. How this bitch became general manager, I will never understand, okay? But anyway, how disturbed were they? So, Judy. Judy, she wasn't disturbed. She was just a spoiled fucking brat. She came from a good family with money and prestige, you know what I'm saying? And she could have done great things with her life, but instead she chose to be a rebel, you know what I'm saying? And go off and become a hacker and a fucking treacherous little bitch, okay? And then Anne, she was a little disturbed, but only because of her grief. It wasn't the kind of disturb that would lead her to do like evil shit. It was more of an emotional disturbance, you know what I'm saying? But poor Anne, you know, I felt bad for her even though she was a rotten bitch. I don't think if her daughter died, she would have ever done any of the fucking crazy ass things that she ended up doing, including trying to kill fucking Vera, all right? And the final category is how scary were they? Judy Bryant couldn't scare a fly, even if she tried, okay? She was not scary or frightening. She was just annoying, and I wanted to smack her every fucking single time I saw her face on the screen. You know, she's not scary at all. That's the bottom line. And as far as Anne, Anne had a little fear factor about her, but only because you could see her becoming more and more unhinged as the episodes went on. She had that crazy ass look in her eye like she meant business and she didn't care. So anyone who does not care is a tad scared of me, you know what I'm saying? Because they're capable of anything and anything can happen. And the unknown is fucking frightening to me and to a lot of people, I'm sure. So this is going to be a close one, world. But in conclusion, I have to say that the winner of this round is Anne Reynolds. Fine, she never killed anyone, but it wasn't from lack of trying, okay? And had Joan not snapped her neck, I'm certain she would have killed Vera. She wasn't calculated, but she was impulsive and she had no remorse, okay? She wasn't disturbed in a scary way, but the fact that she was blind with grief made her far scarier. I have to be fair and I have to be honest. There is no way in hell that I can go to sleep at night and continue living with myself if I declare Anne Reynolds the winner. The winner is Judy Bryant. As much as I cannot stand this treacherous bitch, she wins this round. And she was just a grieving mother 
who had the potential to snap, fine. But Judy Bryant was vicious. She sat there and smiled in Allie's face and helped wipe her ass, okay, the whole entire time, knowing that she was the reason why Allie was in the situation that she was to begin with, okay? She was treacherous. I can't believe that I was gonna let my hate for Judy Bryant stop her from winning this round, okay? <laughs> I'm glad I came to my senses. Judy Bryan is the winner and is not a villain. She's just a fucking crazy ass bitch. I can't even call her crazy. She's just sad. She's a sad fucking bitch. But Judy Bryant, she's a villain. Judy Bryant may have won this round, but that does not make her any less of a treacherous bitch, okay? I just want to go on record as saying that. What do you guys think? Do you think Judy should have won? I don't think so. Let me know in the comments down below. So, world, next week's episode is going to be the final round. Iman Farah versus Just Warner. Who do y'all think is going to win between these two Wentworth wackos? Stay tuned to find out. All right, world. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, you already know what to do. Like my shit. Subscribe to my channel. And if you subscribe, ring the notification bell so you can be alerted when I post videos in the future. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.